once again, it's 3042 here, and we are playing some Batman. Now, we're not playing Arkham Asylum, or Arkham City, or Arkham Knight, or any one of those games. Uh, they're all really good, except for Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight was kind of boring. Uh, we're playing the, the Telltale uh, Batman. Telltale me, has not made a bad game. They've made uh, The Walking Dead. They made... Uh, Wolf Among Us, which is a real great game based on Fable comic books. Uh, then they, they, not a lot of people know this, is that they also did a, a Game of Thrones series as well. But uh, they just recently came out with Batman, not so long ago. And uh, we're doing episode one, so here we go. Batman's probably one of my uh, most favorite DC characters uh, because you know he's uh, he's an anti-hero, but like I just like the Punisher as well. But the Punisher kills basically everybody. Batman has like this rule: he doesn't kill. He basically you know he captures them, takes them to jail, they escape, rinse, repeat. It keeps them in business. Well, it keeps Batman in business. Bruce Wayne, not so much. Bruce Wayne's, you know, a multi-billionaire. Hey, what are you- Show, you bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. So they're breaking into uh, the mayor's office. God, I feel sorry for that guy. Oh, Christ. Move in. doesn't give no fucks. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Harvey Dan, also known as Two-Face. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Yeah, well, that's the point. Let them come. <gasps> Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I mean, okay, so this is just bad all together. I mean, so you never break up the party. So now he can just take you out one by one. What was that? I don't 
normally play these games on my tablet. Back. Circle up! I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Mother teach you to knock. Ha! Ah. Behind you, big boy. Cat. When I was first introduced to Catwoman, she was real cheesy. She was a uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. She was really, uh, stay where you are. Once he's sexualized, you're under arrest. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. I don't like Criminals this, uh, are becoming afraid Alfred. of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. Oh, that snap. doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I do this for the thrill of it. I'll show you a thrill. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> you know Let's he never catches a catwoman. Bring it, Bat.
over. I wouldn't be so sure. I go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. He got it! Damn it! I said don't shoot you! No! Wait! <sighs> wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. So this is before uh, Harvey Dent becomes Two-Face. From what I'm told, it, um... A lot of this game is playing as Bruce Wayne. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise really you, a vote for Harvey Dent face. is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. So, I mean, and, if like only Mr. Can, Wayne, my campaign's you know largest backer, could have heard that applause, but... he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Don't sassy. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? 
I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the God, game, Bruce. Asshole. And tonight, <laughs> if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face is that Morgan Freeman in the saying, background? Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent a secret. slogan. I am a hero. Terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... A new face for Gotham. Yeah, Look at yeah. you. It's not that bad. Face. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. Okay, so I'm City be... free from crime. Where children can Dead's play in the streets the again. That's what I want too, this. Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. And here comes trouble. So, like, why would you leave the gate open? Ooh, an alcoholic. Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. Come on, you're I'm like not a politician. the closest thing to a politician. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Look at Freeman. Murder in the right streets, in the corruption in City Hall. That Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like Batman. it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, it seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes, and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne okay, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. What other mental After illness? all your parents did for this city. Oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Thank Truly you. Terrible. I was forgetting that. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age. It must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Yeah, because I totally kissed your ass. It is a night ass. of ringing endorsements. Oh, 
Well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private okay, fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? I'm just peaceful. You should enjoy your own party before yeah. all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're you king know, for I just a took day. A bowl and all, just a day. But, hey, <laughs> I would have guessed that. Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. <laughs> what? Well, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Uh-oh. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Uh-oh. I, I sense that, uh, these are like... <laughs> and what kind of business guys. do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Yep, I get the feeling that he's gonna fuck you Play up. nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Ugh, I already don't like you. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. I fucking hate you. Fuck you and the horsey Ronetta. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Dick. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Has... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? God, you're an asshole. <sighs> Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law... And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. 
I ain't here to chin wag about politics, Mr. Wayne. See, I like I like Harvey. Gives me He's a very charismatic. I got enough guy. of that as is. Before he becomes Two Face. So, God damn it! Put down my tools. Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. What? I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving. It would have been real funny if he would have, like, scratched That's the ball. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. No, it, it pretty much is. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Fuck you. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. I'm gonna kill you. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing right, them you know, out. You know, this you really want to be rude. beat the shit out of you. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Why are all bad guys assholes? Alright, so I'm gonna leave uh, the first part right here. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us. And as always, stay nerdy.